and you do this the exactly the same approach for each core sample okay and then you need to plot the normalized value of kro star and krw star versus the normalized water saturation for each core on a regular graph paper so we will use the linear scale and we do that here so the horizontal axis is the let me make it bigger the horizontal axis is the res, uh, normalized water saturation on the left i use the normalized relative permeability of oil and on the right i have the relative permeability of water normalized and we just take that for example here i take that from this for sample b you can also do this okay and then for this i take that for the b core sample relative permeability of water normalized so here i take it from here like this okay and if you want to look look at it okay so here i touch this you get that from the table i touch the next curve you take that from this table and this, the next i get that from there there i get it from here there i get it from there there i get it from there okay all right oh so and then the step six select arbitrary values of normalized water saturation and calculate the average relative permeability of oil normalized and normalized relative permeability of water so we are going to have first we want to generate a curve okay we want to do regression okay to get the correlation between normalized water saturation and normalized relative permeability of oil and normalized water saturation with normalized relative permeability of water so my approach we haven't used this for, for for now so my approach is like this so to make me to make it easier for me i copy that and then i paste here and i want to get for the core sample a so i'm going to delete this one and then they let this yellow and then they let this gray and then lastly i think here so i have core sample a remaining on the curve okay and then like this i can just right click and then add trend line okay so you see first i have a linear linear calculation there linear curve it's not curve it's a line right and i can display the equation on chart okay but don't forget it's still linear and then i can also show the oops format trend line display r square if you want okay actually from mathematical point of view this approximation using linear line right it's already good because the r square is 0 0.9983 but you can still improve it by using polynomial approach okay polynomial approach such that the trend line approximately or very closely approach the the line the real data and from that we get this you know correlation so using the correlation i can use my arbitrary normalized water saturation to calculate the normalized relative permeability of oil and you do that the same exact approach with the water relative permeability i right click add trend and then use polynomial okay to the order of two sometimes you need up to maybe order of three and maybe four but here in this case with order of two 
second order, we already have R square, which is very good, 0 0.9997. Okay, let me put the new curve here, and then you can see that the one I made previously is exactly the same. Okay, so I can delete the new plot. Okay, good. And then use this mathematical e equation for the oil and for the water to calculate the normalized relative permeability of oil and normalized relative permeability of water at arbitrary normalized water saturation. Arbitrary here means you can just put 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, up to 0 0.9 if you want, and but you can also put 0 0.12, 0 0.247, 0 0.5 or three if you want, but to make it tidier, tidier I just use 0 0.1 up to 0 0.9. Okay, and I can use the, the correlation there, minus one, minus 0 0.1472 multiplied by normalized water saturation, it's order of two, okay, second order, and then minus 0 0.1472 eight four three five multiplied by water saturation normalized plus zero point nine nine six nine and then you get that so you get this data for the normalized relative permeability of oil and normalized relative permeability of water at each normalized water saturation and this is for core a you do that as well for the core b and you do that for the core c Based on my calculation, this looks a bit weird, but never mind because you just do the simple calculation to get and to construct this curve. But you can still, you know, approach this relative permeability curve with the trend line. Okay, so you get that and then what else? We need to select arbitrary, okay. So far, so good. And then okay, let me okay, we also need to to calculate now. Okay, we now need to calculate the average normalized relative permeability of oil and average normalized relative permeability of water. 